Could you say something about the, the sound design? Yeah. Um, yeah, the initiation to do this film was, as I said, a radio play by musicians. The whole thing was performed by musicians. So I wanted to keep this, this music, musical. I, it was from the beginning a clear intention to compose the whole thing as like a music piece. No, no, no spot in the film without sound. That's one thing. And the other hand is, if you are in the forest alone, our eye is, is not made for this situation. You know, if, we, if you go to the forest, especially when it's getting dark, we are lost totally. Our eyes, if, if you see the animals in the, in, the, in, the, in the forest, because there's so many trees and bushes that you don't see far, but you listen, you start to listen. You know? the, eye, the, the ear is so much more important when you go in the forest. So you start really to create sounds, imaginary sounds. It's getting more and more tricky if, if it's behind or in front or where it's coming from. <coughs> so I thought when I was there to, re like to, to recreate the feeling I had in the forest for an audience was like I was full of sounds in the forest and I lost interest of looking with the time. You know. So that, that was a strong motivation to have a, a strong soundtrack. On the other hand, as a filmmaker, it's not the first time that I had the challenge that I really, I, I love music, and uh, I, like, I like sound movies, and I want them to have sound and image on the same level. A balance between sound and, uh, if we have a sound movie, I want to have the value of the sound as good as possible. Unfortunately, we seldom hear it because the equipment in the normal uh, so-called art house kino cinemas is very bad. <laughs> <coughs> but still, I heard it sometimes in the, maybe in the sound studio or whatever. So I know the sound is there, <laughs> even if you cannot. Uh, and <coughs> and uh, coming back, uh, back to Bach, uh, this uh, man uh, who's singing, the singer, is, is, a, is a professional opera singer, but he is also working with theater groups. He's, he's a great uh, musician. He's working with Marthaler. I don't know if you know Marthaler. Uh, this is a kind of musical theater, and he's working with free jazz musicians also. So he's doing both. <coughs> he's uh, he's uh, earning his money in the opera, and he is uh, uh, really interested, st very strong in improvised music. So I had the perfect link between my two tracks in, the, in music. And I was, the, my instruction for the musician was that he should create as much sounds as possible, natural sounds by music. So I told him, create, bring me wind, bring me, insects bring me uh, like uh, wood, whatever, storm, with music. So whenever it was possible to create it by music, by instruments, we did it and mixed it a little bit with natural sounds. So to, to have not, I didn't want to have, the more, the longer the film goes, the more we, we lose the natural track of sounds and it's going to be an imaginary soundtrack. 